here on Around BCC, we have a new segment where we're going to take a look at some of the alumni and the great work they're doing in our community. Here's the initial segment of Alumni in Your Community. Hi, I'm Joanne Bentley. I'm a graduate of BCC, class of 1980. I pretty much always wanted to be an architect, even as a little kid. I was always drawing pictures of you know, dog houses and bird houses and then trying to make them myself and, and just do things like that. And it was just, I, I think my approach to architecture is it's like a puzzle to me, which I love. I love puzzles. And it's, I enjoy talking to people, finding out what they need taking the pieces of their puzzle and putting them together and giving them a building or a space that they really like. So I, it's just something that was always in the back of my mind since I was a little kid. I just didn't really think I was going to be able to do it. Um, and honestly, I attribute a lot of me being able to do that to BCC. When I started there in 77, it was actually a very comfortable place for me. The campus was very comfortable. I didn't live too far away. And I was familiar with the campus because all through high school I used to go and use the library there anyway. So it was a very um, homey, comforting feeling for me to go to BCC, the campus. I was familiar with the buildings. Uh, there's a lot more now than there were when I was there. But I, um, I just liked the whole experience. The campus was great. It felt kind of like you weren't in Fall River because you had this great facility and all these buildings, except um, it was just it was just nice. It was kind of woodsy, and it was just a great campus at the time. When I started at BCC, I was in the liberal arts program, not really knowing what I wanted to do. I, actually, I should say, I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't know how to get there. I wanted to be an architect. Uh, I couldn't really afford to go to any of the private colleges that were around here, so I knew I would have to do something else first. So I started in the liberal arts program, and then at the end of my first year, I went and spoke with a couple of advisors who suggested I switch to the civil engineering program, which I did. And that was a very different experience for me, uh, even though it, you know, we were approaching the 80s, it was still, engineering was still a very male-dominated field. And um, I switched into that starting, which, which would have been my second year at BCC, into the engineering program. I was the only girl in the majority of my classes, even my physics class. There, were only, there was only one other girl in that. And it was, but the guys just treated me like one of the guys. It was um, no big deal to them that I was the only girl in engineering at the time. And then I realized um, if I just took a few more classes, I was able to get a second degree. So I ended up getting a degree in engineering, civil engineering, and then also one in land surveying. The faculty at BCC, once I got into the engineering program, was great. Not that they weren't great previously, but the classes were small. Most of my engineering classes, we only had eight or nine or ten people at the most. And I think anybody at that time who was at BCC in engineering probably had Fred Hannock and I had him for the majority of my classes. And we were pretty much, there, there was a group of about eight of us that went through all our classes together. And we had Mr. Hannock for a lot of our classes and he was a hard taskmaster. And he demanded a lot from us, but we had a rivalry going on, but it was an academic rivalry. So we were all motivated to succeed and do very well in our classes. and. He would talk to us about what our plans were for the future and what we were going to do and where we were going to work. And even though he wasn't our advisor, he kind of became our advisor and really helped us. After BCC, I ended up working for four years. I wanted to continue in engineering or architecture, but I needed, I needed money to do that. So I left BCC and I worked for the Department of Public Works for a year. And then I went for, to an engineering company in Middleborough, Mass, and I worked there for another three years before finally applying to different colleges for architecture. And I went to Rhode Island School of Design and got my architecture degree from them. I, I actually ended up receiving two degrees. One was a Bachelor of Fine Arts and then a Bachelor of Architecture from RISD. 
while I was at RISD, I started working for one of my professors who's a structural engineer in Providence, and I worked for him um, my last year at RISD and then stayed for six years after graduation working for him. And during that time, I started my process of becoming a licensed architect, which is taking an exam. Also had two kids in the meantime, so that kind of slowed down the process for me. Um, so I wasn't really pushing to do that. So I, I worked in Providence for seven years. Then I came back to Fall River and worked for an architect here for the next 12 and a half years. And one of the reasons coming back to Fall River was um, I had two little kids. I live in Somerset. And it was convenient when they were home, when they were sick, when they needed to go to graduation for nursery school. Uh, it was much easier, even though Providence isn't that far away, it was nice to come back to Fall River and um, start growing some of my roots again back here. I'm from Fall River. I was born and raised in Fall River. Some of my family is still here. And I wanted to get back to Fall River. Starting my own business was um, a great experience and a scary experience at the same time. I really had no business background, so I really didn't know kind of what I was doing. One thing that was a tremendous, tremendous help for me is that I'm in the Rotary Club and there are a lot of people who are just so willing to help you. And I, I had a lot of help from some accountants who this is what you need to do and sign this paper and do this and do that. And just um, people in the community who are in Rotary are just very helpful people. And they were very supportive of me and you can do this and don't worry and things are gonna be great. And um, they've been great and they've been scary and it's been, I've been very, very fortunate. I've got um, good clients and I've got a good support system and it's just, it's working out well for me. BCC really helped me get where I am today. I really honestly believe I, I would not have been able to go back to school if I hadn't gone to BCC first. It was just um, a very affordable thing for me at the time. I wanted to go to college and I couldn't, I couldn't afford to go anyplace else. It was an affordable solution for me. The best thing was that all my credits that I took there transferred, and they would have transferred to any college that I went to. And it was just, it just worked out so well for me. It was a small campus, or it is a small campus compared to some of the others. It's a very friendly feeling when you're there on campus. You can navigate your way around. The faculty are great. The Advisors are great. They help you. They give you good advice. You know, if you don't know where something is, they'll find the answer for you. But I, I really, really, really believe that if I hadn't gone there first, I would, I would never have gone back to RISD or any other school. Our thanks go out to Joanne Bentley, and we wish her all the best in her future endeavors.